Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Time for another week of work at OCD. Behind me, I've got this Audi Q7 in for a full paint correction and some optic coat. Let's go and take a look. So at first glance, this Audi looks to be in pretty good condition. Later on, we'll uh, take it outside. I want to show you um, some really bad damage, but let's go up close here and look under the lights. You can see all the swirls and scratches there quite easily. Now to my right here, it's a little better, not, not a whole lot better, just a little better. That was a test spot we did there to work out a good combination. So you can see a few swirls and scratches there, it's removed maybe 60% of them. And here you can see all of them. And over here to the left, you can see they are all but gone. Let's uh, try and use the Hella Nova light to have a look as well. So that's, um, you can see a few there. And then if we move up, not a lot there at all. So um, this is what we call a test spot before we begin working on a full car. Do a, do a test spot, try a few compounds and polishes and pad combinations to work out what works best, what will give us the best results whilst removing the least amount of paint because the idea is to preserve as much clear coat as possible. Anyone can, uh, you know, go at a car with a wool pad and a rotary and make it look, you know, remove all the clear, remove all the scratches, but that's no point. The idea is you want to remove as little clear coat as possible so the car can lead a long and healthy life. So I'll finish doing the bonnet, then we'll take the car outside. I want to show you um, what happens to a car when it is corrected by someone who doesn't know what they're doing and why you should never pay for cheap detailing jobs. See you soon.